What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanna to show you something really awesome from a company called CD, but before we get started, this is my Polymega Killer. I did a video on it recently. If you watch my channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In that video I stated, the only difference is we can't play disc-based retro games directly from a disc. Well, some emulators do support it, but basically we didn't have an application that allows us to just put a disc in and start the game up. A few hours after I posted this, CD actually released their beta application that allows you to play disc-based retro games on an x86 platform. It's still very much in beta, but it allows you to play Sega Saturn, PlayStation, TurboGrafx-16 CD, Sega CD, Neo Geo CD, 3DO, CDI. It'll do Amiga CD32, Jaguar CD, and it'll even do Dreamcast, but with Dreamcast, it has to be CDR. It does not support GD-ROMs yet. So basically, it's a small front end right now that'll allow you to launch disc-based retro games in different emulators, like Manafin, MAME, and Redream. So these guys have been around for a little while. They launched an Indiegogo campaign on their little console. It actually ran an orange pie with a disk drive on it. It would allow you to play retro disk-based games using their console. They were never fully funded, so they weren't able to launch their unit. But they're back, and I think this is a much better idea. So it's pretty easy to set up, but I will be doing a tutorial video Friday. I need to run by my brother's house and pick up all of my disc-based games. I got some Neo Geo CD stuff, I got some Sega Saturn, some PlayStation 1 stuff. But I still wanted to give you guys a demo, so I searched high and low, and I found a version of Quake 2 for PlayStation 1 in one of my drawers. I also ran across a binder of old burnt Sega Saturn stuff and Dreamcast games, so we're going to test those also. But right now, all you need to do is set it up. If you want to follow their guide on their website, link for everything is in the description. It's really easy to set up. The hardest part is going to be coming across the correct BIOSes, but they're out there. All right, so here we go with the BIOS. And as soon as we start loading the disk, you will notice the disk drive itself start to light up, the little activity light. It's reading from the disk. I do have an Xbox One Bluetooth controller connected to this little PC. So obviously you can always play these from your hard drive, but I thought this was such an awesome idea and I have a little PC build in the works specifically for this CD setup here. I haven't messed around with the config files in Manafin yet, so it is window mode. All you have to do is hit Alt Enter, it'll go to full screen and you can change this in the config so every time you start up it goes full screen. Also need to set up the controller, Give me a second here. This little disk drive in here is spinning up pretty fast. It's making a lot of noise. Now it's only 10X. I'm not sure if you had like a 32X if it would load any faster or not. There are some settings in the CD software that will allow you to set the speed of the drive. This will also support the Retro 2 cartridge reader, but I can't get my hands on one. If anybody knows where I can get one for about 60 bucks, you know, regular price, I'll buy it, but I don't want to pay scalper prices on eBay. So as you can see, we're playing an original PlayStation 1 disc on an x86 Windows 10 powered PC. I know it's kind of niche because you can always just play these from your internal hard drive, but I think it's really cool that something like this exists now. And this is only going to get better over time. All these emulators do support save state, so if you want to save your game, you can. In order to exit, you can always set up a hotkey, press escape on your keyboard, or just eject the disc. Moving on to some Sega Saturn emulation. Discs in, starting to read it. It's going to tell us Sega Saturn game has been inserted and start the emulator for us. And again, real quick, I need to set up the controller in the Sega Saturn emulator. Going full screen. And now we're playing a Sega Saturn disc in our Windows PC. I just noticed a little bit of a stutter and I saw my light on my disk drive start to blink. 
So I guess my disk drive might not be fast enough, or it's just because this is in a very beta state. And finally, Sega Dreamcast using ReDream. Now this is a burnt disc. This is Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on a CDR. So the Dreamcast portion here definitely needs a little bit of work. I am using ReDream. It's not my hardware. This thing will emulate Dreamcast using ReDream from a hard drive at 4K. And every time it starts to stutter, I see that disc blinking away. So it's reading. Not sure if they need to implement a little more cache so it caches ahead a little further. But like I mentioned, this is in beta, so they're working on it right now. All this could be fixed down the road. So that's it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. I think this is really awesome, I can't wait for some more development to start rolling on this because I would definitely use this on a super small system. Links to the download page will be in the description, it also comes with a readme that shows you exactly what you need to do to get this up and running. And if you need some help with other emulators, I will have a tutorial video coming up in the next few days. I recently built a little emulation PC and I was thinking about using it specifically with this, but it's in my arcade cabinet right now. I did pull it out for a few minutes to test this USB disk reader and it actually works, but I want to go even smaller. So I think I'm going to go with this little Intel NUC clone. This isn't a real Intel NUC, this is a Chinese knockoff, but it does have an i7-7500U, 8GB of RAM, and a built-in Intel HD620 GPU. It'll handle all of these disk-based games that I'm going to be using with the CD software, so keep an eye out. I will have a video coming up on this and a full tutorial video. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.